Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can connect your AI coding tools to NCPs, like for example Firecrawl, so you can access deep research inside of Cursor or Windsurf. Like for example, you are seeing here, create an interactive visualization with the latest AI advancements in the medical research and treatment. For that, it will have to search the internet and compile a bunch of information, so that's why we are going to be doing deep research, as you see in here and it's gonna be able to access the MCP tool and actually look in the internet and synthesize the findings. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how to do it inside of Windsurf and also how to do it for Cursor. First, let's go with Windsurf. So as you're gonna see here, if it's your first time dealing with NCPs, you should see zero available NCP servers. So what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to click where it says configure NCP, and then in here, what you're gonna do is pasting the exact same thing that I have in here. Now, the only change that you're gonna have to do is replacing this where it says your Firecrawl API key with your actual key. And this is gonna work for most of other tools out there. You're just gonna pretty much just have to copy and paste from their docs and then just pretty much add your API key. Now, how are we gonna be getting this Firecrawl API key? For that, we are gonna head over into firecrawl.dev and then you're gonna have to sign up. This is gonna let you use a lot of credits for free, so it's pretty cool. Once you have signed up, you are gonna have to click where it says dashboard, and then in your dashboard, it's gonna let you generate a free API key, and once you have it, you're just gonna have to copy this API key going back into Windsurf, and then replace where it says your Firecrawl API key with that key that it provided you. Once you paste your key in there, just save your file and then you should be able to see it as NCP server. So you will just click what it says, refresh servers, and there it is. So well, now we have the Firecrawler NCP server. If we click, we're gonna see the different, I'm gonna move my face. We're gonna see the different um, tools that we can use inside of Firecrawl. And if we go all the way to the bottom, we are gonna see Firecrawl Deep Research. This is the one that we are interested. So for now, I'm not gonna be letting actually modify any code because I already kind of show you how it will work. But if I just press chat and I say Deep Research, the latest findings in the AI medical sector, for example, um, sector. We are going to see that it's going to call the NCP server uh, from Firecrawl, as you are seeing here. Perfect is using the NCP tool, the MCP server, and it also is using here deep research. You just cannot see it because it's a little bit. Let me move it. So there it is, the Firecrawl deep research. So that's how you will set it up on Windsor, which is pretty easy. Now let's go into Cursor. How are you going to be able to do this in Cursor? Well, you're just going to have to head over to Cursor. And then you're just going to have to click where it says the settings. And then in settings, you're going to go where it says NCP. And here we are going to have to click where it says add new NCP server. You can name it wherever you want. In this case, we can do just far crawl. Okay. And then we can do NCP. Perfect. Then you can leave it on command. And then the command that you want to run is the following. So as you're going to see here, let me go all the way. So env, then Firecrawl API key. And here is you're going to have your API key, the one that we copy from the dashboard. And then once you have that, you're just going to have to click add. And you should be able to see that is this in green and is able to do all these uh, fun different functions. And same thing, you just go into cursor and then you will just do the exact same thing. So uh, you can just run here and you can just say, hey, deep research the latest findings in the medical sector and it will work the exact same way. Um, but anyway, hopefully this tutorial was helpful and I will see you in the next one.